I don't think really anything. I mean, it's just, I always, you know me, with injuries, it is what it is. I mean, it's nothing you can do about it. I always, you know, think about the guy. I wish he could play because he wants to play. Um, but other than that, I've been around too long. <laughs> you know, injuries are a part of the game, and uh, you don't want them, but, but you're going to have them. Uh, and when you have them, uh, you just got to keep going. I think that's this team is built for that. Uh, you know, we have so many guys. Um, of course, you're going to miss uh, what Milo does, uh, but, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys. What's your understanding of the severity of it? Uh, you know, I know that, it's said on, uh, indefinitely. Yeah, it, it's indefinite. You know, it's just one of those injuries, you know, that uh, it's going to take some time, and we just got to make sure uh, we manage it right uh, because that's really important for us. Do you also have to manage playing Austin, playing Lou, playing Patrick? Well, Lou, not really, but Patrick and Austin, because of what they've come off, we have to manage their minutes for sure. So, uh, I mean, that makes it harder. You know, obviously, you lose Milo. Uh, you're already trying to control Austin's minutes and, and, and uh, Pat's in some ways, uh, and you still have to do that. So that means other guys are going to just have to step up. How does losing Milos affect what you guys do on the floor? Not at all. We, we, we play the same. I mean, you can see it. Like, um, I think Milo didn't throw any lobs the other night, and we had 10 dunks, you know. So, you know, the way we play is the way we play. It's not uh, – the way we play is not – uh, dictated because of one guy on the floor. You know, we play in open style. You know, again, and I think in the Laker game, eight guys brought the ball up the floor last night. The other night, seven different guys brought up the ball up the floor. So we're not really, you know, we're, we're just that team. When you, if you have to play the rookies, how would you start to use them in the course of the game? I will play them. Uh, and uh, I don't know if I'll play both, but we may. Uh, we just try to use them in the right point and with someone, you know, with Pat or Austin. Uh, again, that's harder because you're worried about their minutes, but um, that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, it won't matter for me. I think it, uh, you know, obviously we're going to always watch the matchups, you know, with them. Uh, I don't worry about Sundarius guarding anybody defensively. I mean, I think he is going to be a good to an elite defender, uh, and I really believe that uh, at multiple positions. So uh, I'm not concerned with him guarding anybody offensively. You just got to make sure that you have the right guys on the floor to support them. Lou Williams has done a lot of, he's been known for scoring, but he's done a lot of playmaking. Season. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Yeah, well, it's what we preach. You know, I think uh, you look at Jamal. Jamal with us did a lot of passing, too. You know, I think people looked at his scoring, but Jamal passed the ball. It's what we preach, and it's part of our system. And, you know, and so uh, Lou has kind of jumped in and, and jumped on board and been great with it. Um, and, you know, what I always tell the score is the more you pass, the more dangerous uh, you become scoring. And I think Lewis started to prove that. You're playing the Jazz tomorrow. Obviously, the two teams look different roster-wise yeah. than last year. But is, there yeah. any, is there any thought uh, as far as, like, trying to beat them because they beat you last year in the playoffs? Well, if we had to beat them in the playoffs, I still want to beat them, you know, uh, in the game. I, no, I mean, it always – you think about it because you played them in the playoffs. Whether you won or lost, you think about that's a team you play. And – uh, you know, they know you, you know them, even though both teams are really different. Uh, but some of the things we both do are, hasn't changed. And so it always makes it for a very competitive game. Yeah, I think there's a test every night. You know, I think uh, Utah's just, they've always been a great defensive team. And, you know, they slow the game down a little bit. So, you know, it's going to be hard to score 130. I can tell you that. Uh, because of the pace of the game. You know, part of that uh, is pace uh, dictated. When the game slows, you don't have as many offensive opportunities. Uh, but it's always fun going up against them. I've always wondered, what is Paul Malone there and John Stockton? Now, they still play a physical brand of basketball. Yeah. Why is that? I think I, I don't know the answer to that. I mean, maybe that's uh, their organization and whoever they hire, that's what they preach. You know, uh, Jerry's still around, you know. If Jerry's around you, you're going to get tougher. You know, he's just going to spill out because that's who Jerry Sloan is. Uh, Q is, I think, one of the better coaches in the league, uh, and that's what he preaches as well. And offensively, he preaches ball movement. Uh, so, but it, it's funny. There's always been certain teams, you know, uh, for years. The Knicks, when you saw the Knicks, you knew it was going to be this rugged, physical, crazy, you know, tough basketball, and then they changed the rules. Uh, <laughs> You know, but Detroit, I mean, you go through the teams, you know, maybe it's 
the, the cities. I mean, who knows? What have you liked about the way you guys have started this season? The 2-0. Oh. <laughs> you know, I like that. I like our ball movement uh, a lot. Uh, I like how disruptive we've been uh, defensively. You know, it's funny, in the beginning of the third, I didn't enjoy watching that first five minutes of the game at all, uh, the third quarter. And then when you go back and watch it on film, you realize, holy goodness, defensively, uh, you know, Patrick and Austin, you know, almost pitched the shutout, you know. and. Uh, but live, it didn't look like that. It looked like it was just bad basketball. And then when you watch it on film, I mean, they, they disrupted everything, those two. And, that, and that, was, that was impressive to watch.